All right, I'm in the uh, weekend round of the Great Outdoors Tournament. I'm in my practice account, so I have one more count after this. You never know when you get when you decide to play. You know, sometimes you're hot right off the bat, and then you get tired, and sometimes you're trying to get in a groove, and then you catch the heat. So I'm going to start with my practice account. I feel like I need a practice round. So let's go to hole number one and check it out. Now, in this tournament, you really need to shoot a minus 12 is like, the minimum but you have to pick it up eight both times so that makes it minus 13 so you're looking for a minus 26 is the minimum score so you got to pick something up and you can't pick it up on eight so you got to pick it up on some other hole because you're already picking one up on eight one and four are the other par fours so those are the holes but there's a great alvey opportunity on three if you know to play that hole and there's a lot of opportunities my goal is to pick up one in the first five holes so if I can pick up one in the first five holes on both sides, and that puts me at 28, and 28 is up at the top. It may not be a win. If you shoot a 29, that's, it, that's stout. You can shoot better, okay, but, but that's what it'll take in most of these brackets to be up towards the top. Some brackets, that won't be, even be close. <clears throat> All right, I'm going right at it with a big tapa. I'm going to look at my notes here. I'm going to need to start looking at my notes. I've been just kind of playing and practicing all week and just dinking around, but I have a good set of notes from playing as much as I did this week, and I really need to focus on my notes. Okay, I'm going to bring a Titan, Big Topper, my secondary club, Saturn, and a Hornet. If I'm in my Saturn range, I'm going to be a max minimum Saturn, which is 2.7 per ring. If I'm in my Hornet, I'll be a max Hornet, which is 1.1 per ring, and I'm going to do a 20% wind adjustment. I was doing a 10% wind adjustment, but I kept being just a little off. And so, like sometimes it would fall in the hole and then you were always off just a little. It was like right there. So you can keep being just right there or you can make a change. And so I'm doing, I looked at looked at video all week that I had, all the times I hit this perfect. Tried to, tried to be critical of what my wind adjustments were and I'm gonna add on a little. It may be right, it may be wrong, but I'm still testing. And hopefully I'm on the, hopefully that was the last little change I needed to make. Maximum top spin, as much side spin as I can still get on it. Okay, the wind's going to take me, if I was here, the wind's going to take me to about right there. I want to be out in this area. Put a little bit of left hand curl on it. I hit it way, way good. So my risk here is, is getting caught up in the sand. If I can clear the sand on this bounce right there, then I got a shot. I'm going to be behind the trees, though. I was good distance, 397, so my goal is 400. But the closer you are to the trees, the farther you have to go in order to get out from behind them. So where I'm at, I'm going to have to use a curl shot. So I took out my really good look at picking up the eagle with that bad drive but I can still get on the hole from there and I brought a I may be in my Hornet range and I may be in my Saturn range I'm probably gonna be if I pull it forward enough I can be in my Saturn range and I can get uh, I can use its backspin my opponent should be good as long as they don't go long they should have a nice view from out there <laughs> nice job nice shot now I've got some work to do. So where's my hornet start? Okay, there's my there's the club I'm looking for. So I'm gonna use maximum backspin and as much curl as I can get, side spin as I can get on there, and I'm gonna come out into this area. Put on all the curl that I can possibly get on to try and get around that tree. to go to that spot where I set it up so that I can apply that curl and backspin to bring it back towards the cup. So my chance of getting an alve or an eagle there was zero and I'm not trying to get an eagle. My goal was is that I didn't I didn't achieve what I wanted to on my drive. <coughs> so excuse me. So I just put myself on the green. The the goal now is to get on the green, get your birdie and go to the next hole. You didn't put yourself in the right spot, so recover. Get your birdie, move on. 
don't get risky and try and do a bunch of tricky stuff where you put yourself in danger and everything's got to go your way or you're sunk. Just get on the green, give yourself a look at it. And I had a look there. From where I was at, that was a pretty good look. Nice shot, man. <laughs> I missed a putt earlier today. I clipped the edge of the cup and just missed the... I timed out. I missed the putt. My stylus slipped off the screen. I use a stylus, I don't use my finger. Number one, it kills my finger. And number two, I have a lot more control with a stylus. I use my fingers, I hold the stylus like a pencil. It's a five inch stylus with a carbon fiber tip. I don't use those rubber tip ones, they don't slide very well over glass. So if you got one of these new screen protectors that's glass, these carbon fibers work awesome. And I don't know how they work on apples, but I know if you're an Android user, and you don't ride the little bus. They work awesome. <laughs> I'm not saying anything about the Apple users out there. <laughs> Just having some friendly banter. <laughs> All right, that was hole number one of the Great Outdoors Tournament in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.